So welcome to whale.com. Today I have Paul Brown, my new co-host. How's it going, Paul? Fantastic. Hope we don't get the names screwed up somehow. <laughs> yeah, I do too. But anyway, Paul's got a boatload of knowledge and he's been welding since the seventies with these old transforming machines. And since like what, 1990, 2000, you got into the inverters? Yes, sir. So he's gonna start explaining and talking about the pros and the cons from the transforming machines to the new inverters. So let's get started. Sounds great, Paul. Great. Here we have a typical 1970s era transformer TIG and stick machine. It is both AC and DC. It's 450 amps. It's got a tremendous amount of power and a lot of adjustability. Pretty much TIG machines until later on in the 80s were just like this machine. It's AC and it's DC. I can switch from AC to DC electrode positive by pulling on this handle, which is very stiff, typical 70s construction. Or I can go to DC negative by pushing over there. It also has three ranges, low, medium, and high. And by changing this handle right here, I can go into three different ranges. Now, once I get into one range, I can then fine tune it with this knob right here simply twisting it to the amperage that I need. And it's very fine adjustments. Each space here is about 10 amps. So I can break it down to one or two amps per notch. This machine also is typical of all TIG welders in that it's got a remote contactor to turn the power on to the torch and also remote amperage so I can change the amperage with a foot pedal or a thumb control. Typical power switch here, just a little tiny toggle switch. And we also have high frequency on this machine, which will put a 15,000 volt arc over the top of our tungsten to help strike the arc. And you have three different settings where you can have continuous off or only on the start. Because it's 60 Hertz power, it's transforming. It's very inefficient compared to if it was running on higher frequency like the new inverter machines do. And this is your typical machine that you did not put in the trunk of your car to go do a job. We got our little brother here, 50 pounds compared to 500 pounds. It uses 120 or 240 single phase, 60 cycle power, the same as big boy over here. The difference is when the power comes in, it gets rectified into DC power at 340 volts or thereabouts. That voltage is then turned into high frequency AC at 10,000 to 30,000 Hertz. It takes that 10 to 30,000 Hertz power and runs it through a transformer. And because the Hertz are so high, it is much more efficient to converting the power into low voltage, high amperage. Because of that, it needs a very small transformer, and that is why the machine weighs so little. Okay, we're gonna set this little guy up to do some stainless TIG welding. First thing we need to do is put it on DC. That's what stainless, steel, copper, titanium, those type alloys are welded with. Next thing we need to do is put it on high frequency. Next thing we do is put it on remote standard where we can use a foot pedal. After that, We'll go down here to put it on post slow and dial in about 10 seconds. After that, we go over to amperage and set it for 100 amps, and that's how you set it up. It's that easy. Okay, we're gonna set this big guy up to do some stainless also. And it's a little more difficult because you gotta put more muscle power into it, or arm strong, as I like to call it. First of all, we're gonna take this right here and put it in the center, which is the medium range for the amps. Then we're gonna take this fine tuning and put it about 25% of that mid range. We're also gonna put it on DC negative. It's tough because that's what we wanna weld stainless with. The other thing we need to do is turn the machine on.
Okay, let's look at what we did with the old transformer machine and also the new inverter machine. Over here, we have no pulse, 75 amps, no amperage manipulation. That's the transformer. Over on this side, the inverter, we were able to actually pulse the arc at five times a second, two times a second, and also eight times a second with no amperage control. That was with 90 amps. It makes a really beautiful well bead and the stack of dimes most people look for. The thing I like most about the inverter machines is one, they're lightweight, they have incredible control on both the amperage and the waveform of the arc. They really make tough jobs easy to do. Do yourself a favor and check one out. Thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us, weld.com slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the weld.com community. Thanks for coming and watching today. We had a lot of fun making this video. See you on the next one.